uh, black, so most likely not educated, most likely poor, most likely to be stealing it's things from the shop. Discrimination, because I'm a dark-skinned person. Mm -hmm. And that's my problem. Ciao ragazzi, and welcome back to Lampis. In this video, we wanted to show you to share with you, or I personally wanted to come here and share with you what, in light of what is ever happening everywhere else, yeah. let me say specifically in America, also my experience as a black person living in Europe with racism. And here we're really just going to touch on things that I have experienced or I still experience as just a person like on my own without Ali, or most of it also what I experienced as a single person. Yeah. For the rest of the things that we have, experience together we are going to release the next video so watch out for that because i think when it comes to racial attack or racism even two videos are not enough you need to oh because as a black person you're dealing with this every single day i remember perfectly one time i entered an office of a client mm -hmm. and who just looked at me and said oh you are black you are black and you are black and i was like yes i'm black i, I mean i know that already but, but, but yeah of course but i don't know if i was you i would stand up for myself and just tell my mind off the for this tell year. me what would you say to you this guy you put the person into the place what, like what you have you to say put to the person guy? there you have to say like oh you're black yeah oh my goodness i'm black i'm black really i didn't know today i was white and you make it you make them feel what they are like stupid people because that, just but not saying nothing, irony, you are just avoiding no, I, this kind of behavior. Yeah, and you are not giving your uh, contribute to change this kind of attitude. So you feel like black people are still under racism because we are not no, black enough? No, I'm talking about you. Yeah, but I'm a I'm black person about, like yes, every other black person. But your attitude, you, especially for these kind of things, it's not always right. Oh, I understand listen. if you are a meeting of work, sometimes you avoid to be like overly things. But if you yeah, get... Yeah, a client, it's obviously a work. I understand, but if you get in the shop, you are the customer, you should be treated with respect. So if somebody makes you feel less because of your skin color, you should stand up for yourself. Let me ask you this. You know how many times I get discriminated at the airport when we are together? Yes. Uh, what do you do? Uh, discussing with the guard, yeah. for example, that you have been searched. Yes, I discuss with the guard and I say, I th I say my mind. Yeah, I say my mind. What? Next I time say, I, you're being I searched feel anyway. I, yeah, I know that they get such anyway, but I, at least I feel like I express my feelings about the situation was injustice, and I yeah. sh and and I show that I show that I, I and I give my piece of opinion. You are submissive no, sometimes. No, listen, yeah? listen. It's not that you are submissive, but you have this police guy at the airport specifically with. I'm looking for a black person. So of whether you course, say I'm you know, racist are. and I say Absolutely. it all the time. They say it's not, but what? That's what it is. And that's what they have on their mind already. I'm here looking for, what is it? It's maybe a dark-skinned person with dreads, whatsoever. This is already their, their profile of the person transporting drugs. Anyway, the point is, like, you it's, have to stand yes, for yourself and you have to give to your contribute to change the system. Because, yes. you know, acknowledging the fact that racism is out there, and, of course, I, I, I speak... As a privileged person, because I'm white, I never really experience on my skin this kind of discrimination. And even though I'm experiencing like uh, right now, because we are together, we are mixed couple, and uh, I now through you experience this kind of behavior. We need to stand up for our right. We need to try. Need in our with a little our little contribute we need to try to change this system because it's systematic is everything that involved the society that imaginate people that are different out there black people in particular every other kind of minority as well yeah but i think if i think of how long have black people been fighting racism? We are fighting it every single day. Absolutely, absolutely. And you will still need to fight a long way before these things are eradicated because yeah, but don't, this don't kind of... Yeah, but don't say you don't defend yourself. No, I'm just saying that sometimes I feel like you're a little bit like you should 
be a little bit less passive and a little bit more aggressive on this topic. No, I want to see you next time we are flying during the summer. I want to see you when you are aggressive when a police guy is searching you me. Se- like, like last time because you were searched, but you you didn't see that I was with Daniela and the guy the, uh, uh, say that I should go away because I was arguing with him. Yes, baby. Every single person going through is saying the same thing to the guy. The guy doesn't care because the guy has a paper say I'm looking for a black person, mm-hmm. and that is the problem. The problem is not that people don't talk to the guy because I say it also to the people all the time why are you searching me simply because I'm black I never go through even when you say it's random I say but that doesn't change a thing the guy has a thing say I'm here looking for a black person isn't going through without being said the high chances that the drugs are passing are passing through it's just a thing and yeah, we're but, fighting it every single but time but this and I, I, I also feel worried because I feel like we are going to have children and children are going to grow up in this kind of world. So when I think of that, I am worried and I want to give my contribute to change things around. I am, I consider myself an educated person. I have a PhD in biology and I feel like every day I go to work and I work in a consultation environment, people would say, oh, we ex- I'm like, I'm here to consult you on this topic. And they're like, doctor, ah, do you really have a doctor? Do you, like, do you really have a doctorate? Do you have a PhD? They would ask you that. So they are surprised because you are black and you are educated. So. It's, I don't think they are surprised because you are black. It, it's just one of, it, it, it's like when you show up, in a shop and people stop it. They're not surprised, but it's one of those things that people do. It's discrimination because a white person doesn't show up saying, I'm here to consult you on, on whatever topic. And they say, oh, are you really here to consult me? Do you have a doctor? You show up and you say, my name is Dr. Ho Ho. I'm here to, to talk to you about this and that's fine. Yeah, but, but you are different. Yeah, but I don't think that's a surprise. That is a racial attack. Of course it is. I don't think you are, it's, it has nothing to do with surprise. It's just race. Discrimination because I'm a dark-skinned person. Mm-hmm. And that's my problem. I'm like, I studied here and I'm telling you, worst thing I deal with in my working environment, especially when I'm consulting, I have always to defend my title. It's questioned every single time and sometimes also when i don't work i remember an incident where i was just trying to organize an appointment for mm-hmm. something and everything went well because it was just email exchange and i showed up and the guy was like oh are you really dr Ikanjo? do you have a doctor title yeah that is that is really terrible i mean why you should be because the mindset if you are somebody living in a country like germany is just like you know people are coming from africa they are educated they come here and they do basic jobs no because just so when i show up saying i'm doctor i can't you also don't know if i'm from africa or i'm from america the only thing that you see is that i'm a black person yeah it's frustrating i don't even want to yeah. joke about it it's frustrating it shouldn't be happening and it's obviously based on racism Another thing, now this, I've been called this, not only at work, also just in normal places, refugee. Mm -hmm. Not every black person living here is a refugee. And I think they know that. But now people use this. I would say really few people are black here and in Germany and they are living like as a refugee with a refugee status. Most of of, of refugees in Germany are from Syria. Like Middle East. Middle East. So they are not even black. But I think, I, I always look at racism as some people feel threatened by your presence in their community and they just want to say something negative about you. This so, is something that is different and they, they give you an etiquette. That, that is the point. Yeah, but you can also give a positive thing. You mm-hmm. don't have a negative. But here I think you feel like you feel like a little bit of a threat. or you, I don't know, but you just want, or for some reason you just want to make, people feel bad because you can also acknowledge that I see that you are different but with a positive with a positive attitude yeah positive attitude of course you can say that but I think you know you're coming from a racial discrimination point of view you're not going to do positivity Mm -hmm. and so I remember when I just started working and this about two years ago I entered a practice and 
And, and you know, the person I was supposed to consult was screaming like, oh, they consulted from this, you know, uh, the, the person from this company should enter. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm walking in. I was like, no, we don't even hear dealing with refugees. Mm -hmm. And the next person who I want to deal with in the moment is now the person from was still screaming the name of the company. And I was like, I am here from that company. And it was like, oh, I'm sorry. It's embarrassing because these are also professionals. Yeah. So it, it, like, uh, it's not like just anybody walking on the street. These are highly educated professionals. People. So you expect just, like, because mo most of the time, you know, racism is associated with ignorance. So... People think like, ah, yes, you are ignorant, you haven't traveled the world, uh, or you've always been in the same environment uh, all your life, and you think like, uh, so racism is associated with ignorance. And people that are ignorant, so they have low education, they are, they are more uh, likely to be racist. But it's not like that. There are different forms of racism. Now this, I'm saying this as a black person, but I think... When I think of myself, I'm 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 a small. I'm not even like a big person, and I kind of I think I just I don't even look like somebody that can steal something. If I think of a tall, big African guy walking in a shop, mm -hmm. I think all the securities and all the eyes will be on him because it happens to me. I enter a boutique mm -hmm. looking for something. It could be earring or anything. Then you have like a woman or two people even behind you following you all the time. But everybody else who was shopping, they were not following them. But it's moment you enter. Yeah, because they, they have in their mind that they, you have this picture or image. Okay, uh, black, so most likely not educated, most likely poor, most likely to be stealing it's things racism. from the shop. Yeah. That it's is, racism. Because it's racism to another level because, uh, to be honest, you... You shouldn't because you be. also don't know, even a white person who's entering, you don't know how, if they are wealthy, if they are poor, you don't know that. Yeah. And, and there are a whole lot of crimes that are not committed by black people. But still, you're just always associated with that because of the skin of your color. Yes, absolutely. It's just ridiculous. Like, and I feel like sometimes, as a black person, I feel like, now if you enter this boutique, even if you didn't want to buy, you definitely probably going to buy because you want to prove that I'm not here to steal mm -hmm. and and I don't I don't want to feel like I always have to prove to somebody that I'm not here to steal yeah of course like it should be just okay like any other young woman European walking in a boutique and checking if you like something you take it but I'm, I'm going there like all eyes like where is she looking now which earring is she touch is she putting them back mm -hmm. and then when you walk out of the shop especially this has happened to me, I think, on two or three occasions. I'm moving out of it. Like these big uh, commercial stores, mm -hmm. like department store where you have like TK Maxx or so, where you have a whole lot of different things. You're walking out, something beeps. It's not only you. It's like they have entrances for, yeah, they, for five people for or five so. five people at the time. So You're walking out. The first to be blocked, eh? Two guys come to you and everybody else is walking by who have containers this mm -hmm. full of stuff. I, and I'm just like, Guys, you probably you have a mini backpack, but they mm -hmm. all come to you to search. Mm -hmm. You looking like this, you know, and some crazy white people, guys are even walking, but I'm like, they definitely probably stole the things you're looking for me. But this mm -hmm. is like, uh, people just look at you black and hmm, it's just race. Yes, it's, it's bad. unnecessary oppression. No, it's not the pressure, it's uh, just, you know misconception and just prejudice and uh, stupidity at the, at the end of the it day. Is, yeah, it is also stupidity, but I think, like, I'm just trying to express that as a black person, when you enter this boutique, you, you don't have a peace of mind anymore when you realize that Absolutely. you have a person following you all the time while there were other people shopping that were never followed. And mm -hmm. you specifically know that you're being followed because you're black. It's the only reason. Now, this brings me to the other thing. Sometimes I feel like racism could be ignorance, could be also borderline. I'm not sure if I'm, I, I didn't think maybe this could be racist. I was new in Berlin and I went to a cosmetic shop because I wanted a powder mm -hmm. for my face. Powders are usually white. Like, the, you know the baby? Yeah, they don't have makeup for black people. No, I'd say to the lady, hey, you know, I'm just here looking for a powder, like just a powder to put on, on my skin after 
applying cream mm -hmm. because I have just I have a lot of oil and something like that. Just say, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. All the powders we have in this shop are white. Nice. Like as if the white person is also as white as this paper because the powder is this is this white. And I'm like, now for me, I feel like the I felt like one side. You can say, oh, this woman obviously have never lived with a black person before. But I have also have never lived with a white person before. But I knew that a white person takes on a lighter shade of foundation. And why? Because although I lived in Namibia, I had always seen those. You could be traveling from Europe going to Namibia and you still find your foundation color back in the days. And while a Namibian would never find that those darker foundation was still not in the shop, although it's a country that has... a most of the people, the mm -hmm. population are, are black people. So I feel sometimes also the society always, I don't know, yeah, taught us so much about you. the white culture than they ever taught about the black culture other than the negative side. To be know. honest, racism uh, is, is not only like, yeah, black people is the majority, is like a, the minority that probably is the most touched by is the racism phenomenon because you are black you are identified immediately as different from the group and then you know you get picked on but we are talking about all minorities also if you think about the USA situation racism is everywhere and every minority out there can experience racism of course there is discrimination everywhere else but I think when it comes to honestly being a black person you have it all and mm -hmm. intense yeah definitely you that's what i, all I and say intense you have it just at another level and if i also think it's not i have experienced this way before i even i moved to europe mm -hmm. if i think of growing up in namibia at the village everything is nice and then you just maybe hear things you don't even news. experience racism basically no you don't however you hear things Maybe on the news or so ever. When you move to the main city like we do, mm -hmm. I, I just remember one time I was, because I was studying ecology and I needed hiking shoes. I enter the shop, which are usually this specific shops are just about camping materials and clothes and things like that. And the lady met me at the entrance and say, oh, I don't think you should even enter. Everything here is above a certain amount. No. It's it's racial, and, and you are in your home country. It's, hmm. You are in your home country, so it's not like, and and you're in a country. Yeah, so you're not even a minority. So no, you're not even a minority. But still, somebody look at your skin color and think, I associate this skin color with not more than ten euro. So everything here is ten euro. Mm -mm. Dark, dark, dark. They are not entering because hmm. they can't afford. I mean, things have changed now, but back in the day, it was also like that. And I, I, I experienced that, and that was maybe 2000, 2005. One thing that I also noticed then, and I really said racism is still there in my country. In the science intake at the university, you have, I would say, about 500 students, and two or three that are white. Then you have the university photographer who is coming to photograph new students all this making the the brochure for mm -hmm. the for the university a yearbook for the university to introduce no no courses and give information it surprises me how this guy take pictures mm -hmm. and out of the sudden the book comes out it has these two students and they were the only one in our intake i w i was just like only what, what, yes. in the entire course and they have the picture. And the other no, one. but I'm saying, what are your chances in of photographing these two students in comparison to the 500? Mm. You get what I'm saying? So definitely, was a white guy definitely came there and looked for these two and photographed them. And I don't even think took pictures of us. Mm. I don't even think. And I think he also worked hard to find these two because there were two. Mm. Two in a class of 500 students. Mm. And there, I was just like, wow, wow. And, and you are a village girl getting information about these things in a university book that you probably think, oh, I guess here they are only white kids. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah. in, I don't know, it's weird.
and and I think things need to change. Of course, I think for us as a black person, and now also you being a partner to myself, you we have we always have to deal with these things every mm -hmm. single time. I have, of course, like I'm a, as a white guy, I I never had this problem. Uh, I, I was a white guy growing up in a white community. So you don't get discriminated like that. And even though you know about racism, you you don't know, really, you haven't experienced in, on your skin this kind of things and this kind of discrimination. So I cannot really say that I know about racism. But of course, since we have been together, I come to the realization of the fact that racism is real, has many forms, racism is still there, still strong, and so we need to allow, acknowledge everybody, I think, out there that this is a real problem and people of color are experience this kind of discrimination every single day in their life. Yeah, absolutely. Every single time. Although it's 2020, you would think like people have moved on, but they still a bit and a lot still a lot i would not say, say a bit mm -hmm. i mean when i think of people still dying because of their skin color there's still a lot yes it's uh, i mean thinking about that it's 2020 this this thing shouldn't happen anymore but unfortunately the thing is is real it's out there and other in, in some countries stronger than they are and then others but there is this general culture and this system is not supporting changing this kind of mentality anyway guys that was it from us today that's my experience what i've experienced not only here just my entire life as a black person you have also experienced it in namibia you have experienced it in Italy. you have seen it i think pretty much where you go especially if you've traveled if you've left your native community and stay tuned for the next video for next week of everything that we usually experience together as a couple as a couple ciao ciao ciao